Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on CSS colors by Simply Learn. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can add colors to our page using different methods. We will start with discussing colors and then see the hex value and the RGB format of the colors. In the end, we will do an example to understand how we can add colors to our page. CSS uses the color values to specify the colors on a page. They can be specified using predefined color names, hex or RGB format. There are nearly 140 standard color names. Hexadecimal is a 6 digit representation of a color. The first two digits are a represents a red value, the next two are green value and the last is a blue value. All the other colors can be created using the combination of these three colors. There are several websites available where you can know the hex value of the different shades of color. As you can see the black color is signified by hashtag and the six zeros. The red is hashtag ff and the four zeros followed by it. The RGB color value is specified using the RGB property. This property takes three values, one for red, green and blue. The value can be the integer between 0 to 225 or a percentage. As you can see, the black color is signified by 000, the red by 255.00, the blue by 00255 and the green by 02550. Now let's move to an example to understand how we can add the colors to our page. In this example, we will see how we can add colors in different ways to our HTML. So we are on the Sublime Text Editor. As you can see, we have the standard boilerplate ready with an h2 and a paragraph on our page. Open the style tag and make the font size of the paragraph to 25 pixels so it is clearly visible. Let's start by adding colors to our text just by color names. HTML supports nearly 140 standard color names. We'll make the color of the paragraph green. For that, just type color and set the color to green. As you can see, our paragraph is changed to green. Let's try one more. This time, we will add the color red. Just refresh. As you can see, the color is now changed to red. There are nearly 140 HTML standard colors that is supported by the web browser. You can also add colors using the RGB format. There are many websites available to know the RGB or hex value of the desired color. One such is htmlcourse.com. As you can see, in the htmlcourse.com, we have the hex value and the RGB value of the desired color. Let's try one. We'll add this color with the RGB value 171, 229 and 27 to our paragraph. So for that, just type RGB and the color code you want. As you can see, the color is not changed to our RGB value. Let's try one more. This time we'll use this RGB value to our text. You can see the color is changed to our desired value. In this way you can use the RGB format to change the colors. The next way is using the hex values. Hexadecimal is a 6 digit representation of a color. The first two digits are red, next one two are green and the last are the blue value. Let's see how you can use the hex values. As you can see, the hex value for this color is hash 31787F. We'll use this value to our text. To add the hex value, you have to use the hashtag followed by the color code. You can see that color is changed to a hex value. Let's try one more. You can see the hex value for this color is hash F14A07. Just copy the desired value to your file. You can see the color changes. You can also add color borders to our heading. Do that, just mention the border style along with the color code.
will add the border color red to our H2. Now you can see we have the border around our H2. I hope you have understood how to use the color values to a web page. There are mainly three ways by which you can add the colors to a web page. They are hex, RGB values and the color names. Hope you have liked this tutorial. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comment section below. We are going to come out with more videos on CSS, so watch out for that. Until then, stay tuned to Simply Learn and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.